Guess that means I'll be answering the door. <laughs> I got something to get Mickey out of a bad mood. That? Well, when I'm feeling bad, the things that cheer me up uh, are life. So I brought her one of God's little creatures who responds to love and care. And CPR? <laughs> Maxie <Maxi> throat. <laughs> Last time I'll ever buy a mail order guppy. <laughs> no problem. I cooked her something special. Behold. <laughs> What's that? It's Mickey and chopped liver. <laughs> Looks like a bocce ball with a bad perm. Don't tell me. A sushi starter set. <laughs> Please. A little respect for the deceased. Ooh, I can see it now. A swirling burial in the porcelain ocean. Perhaps a little salute from the tidy bowl man as the tiny critter spins counterclockwise, clockwise if this were Australia, followed by a stream of sparkling blue water to meet up with those great fish of yesteryear. Moby Dick, Charlie the Tuna, Abe Vigoda. <laughs> Stuff the dimwit in the Cuisinart, and I'll be back to flip the switch. <laughs> Morning, Mick. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, you sure look nice today, Mick. Better than I usually look, right? No, I mean, you couldn't look any better. Oh, so you think I usually look bad? What's bothering you? What's bothering me? I overslept, the place is a mess, I've got a house guest coming, and I've totally wasted the first 25 years of my life. So? <laughs> so what are you trying to say, that I'm jealous of my best friend? Aha, aha, aha what? <laughs> That's silly, I am not. Not what? You're the one who brought it up. Brought what up? Do you really think so? Well, she is a pretty impressive friend. Who is? Maybe you're right. I missed something. Did I leave the room? <laughs> David thinks I'm jealous of Betty LaMonica. Yeah, she's the one who's coming to stay with Mickey. My best friend from high school who can do anything. Last year, she sailed solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Before that, she was a test pilot. Before that, she fought bulls in Barcelona with a red bandana and a Swiss army knife. <laughs> Big deal. What's she done lately? <laughs> Translated Einstein's theory of relativity into hieroglyphics. Why? Well, she had to do something while she was waiting for her nails to dry. <laughs> Every high school play that I tried out for, Betty got the lead. I was the mate. Now she's coming to New York to audition for a part in a big show, and I'm still the mate. Mickey, if she's going to upset you so much, why don't you just ask her to stay someplace else? Yeah. Oh, I can't do that. Betty's like my own sister. I hate her. <laughs> Mickey, you can't keep doing this to yourself. Now, think about it. You can do lots of interesting things. Oh, yeah? Name one. You can turn your eyelids inside out. <laughs> I'll be okay. I'll put on a good front and feel about three inches tall. If you want me, I'll be standing under my bed. We gotta do something. Yeah, we gotta meet this Betty. She sounds fabulous. <laughs> Nobody can be that impressive. I'm impressed. Oh, I love it when you get serious. The wrinkles in your forehead make you look like Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> you always could make me laugh on cue. <laughs> You're such a pushover. Remember boys' gym class? Oh, how did I ever let you talk me into hiding in those lockers? We would have really seen something if you hadn't giggled. Well, I wouldn't have giggled if you hadn't said, look, there's a full moon. <laughs> It's so good to see you. I guess you won't be jumping today, huh, Mick? Jumping? Oh, yeah. The mixer is a real free-fall freak. 
<laughs> David, what are you doing? Oh, don't be so modest. This is one wild woman. She lives to jump out of airplanes. It's all I can do to get her to put on her chute. I have no idea. Uh, David. Hello, all. <laughs> Lovely day for skeet shooting, Mick. Unless you're a skeet. <laughs> Jay, today is skydiving day. Oh, right. Just goes to show you how full Mickey's life really is. Where do you shoot skeet? When she's toting this baby anywhere she wants to. Uh, guys, I really appreciate your help. But I don't think I'll be able to skydive or shoot today. Okay, fine. We'll be up on the roof gassing up your hang glider. <laughs> what was that all about? That was my friends trying to give you a good impression of me. Well, they don't have to do that. I've been impressed with you since the fourth grade, when you learned to turn your eyelids inside out. <laughs> Daddy, you're... you're an incredibly successful woman. I'm just a maid. You're not just a maid. Uh, yeah, I'm a domestic engineer with a degree in vacuuming and defrosting and a minor in static clean. <laughs> Mick, you're whoever you want to be. You have a lot of choices in life. You just got to go for it. <laughs> what am I going to go for? Well, for one, come with me and audition tomorrow. No, no, I, I couldn't. Why not? Well, because I, uh, I have to rearrange the fruit bowl. <laughs> come on. The worst that happens is they hate you and they say, next. Yeah, and they laugh at me, humiliate me, and give me emotional scars for the rest of my life. Right. You just stay here and wrestle with the important things, like, uh, should I just dust, or shall I really pull out all the stops and go for the lemon pledge? I hate your guts, La Monica. What are friends for? The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as a Mickey, gentle rain Mickey, from heaven. Mickey, Mickey, you're reading it. Well, of course I'm reading it. I haven't seen this stuff since high school. Yeah, but, Mickey, there's reading. And then there's reading. Dig deep, delve, dredge. Act better. <laughs> the quality of mercy is not strain. It droppeth as a gentle rain from heaven. Oh, now we're delving. Oh, Mick, I got just what you need for the audition. Jokes. Jokes? Yeah, nothing puts a director at ease more than side-splitting, yuck-filled patter. Mick, I want you to think of yourself as an empty vessel. <laughs> I got this thing. It's hardly ever been used. The guy who had it before could only inhale. Do you know how to make a bandstand? Take away their chairs. Take away their chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, listen, we got to get through this monologue. We haven't even started on the choreography. Did someone mention choreography? Because nothing's cooler for an audition than a few radical dance moves. The moonwalk. Guy walks into the psychiatrist and puts a frog on his head. You got to speak up. Project. Get this frog Splatter out. your voice. She's right. Mick, what can you do? Well, it's something I learned in high school. Okay, here goes. You should have looked out for me, Charlie. I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender. Do you want us to be supportive or truthful? You want dinner tonight? <laughs> Betty, I don't think I can go through with this. Chicken. Oh, don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm gonna get 
thanked you for this. <laughs> you know, I I'm real nervous. A and when I'm nervous, I don't sing well. Fine. Don't sing. Wait a minute. Does the quality of mercy falleth or droppeth? Who careth? Let's go. <laughs> for the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. I can't do that. I'll break my neck. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. Next! Oh, what am I doing here? You said you wanted excitement. What better way to get the old adrenaline pumping than a couple of body slams? Ah, oh, sure, and after this, let's go to the subway and lick the third rail. Are you puny capitalist bimbos here to audition? Uh, well, uh, we were... Yeah, pinko! When do we get to bounce your buns around a ring? In Russia, we eat buns for breakfast. Have you tried an onion bagel? <laughs> Over there, swine, you have two minutes. She could have killed us. Nah, you just have to win their respect. Besides, I want to be a bad guy. I do a great snarl. <laughs> I came prepared for a Broadway musical. Yeah, singing and dancing, good gimmick. You can tap dance on their faces while you sing feelings. <laughs> You flipped Mike Finnegan in the pool in 10th grade. I don't think they're going to try to unhook my bikini top. <laughs> this can't be the right place. Looks right to me. <laughs> Jay, tie your tongue in a knot and put it away. We're here to give Mickey a little moral support, remember? Out of the way, wimp. Hey, who are you calling wimp? You, Wimp. Oh, me, Wimp. All my friends call me Wimp. I come from a long line of Wimps. The army classified me 1W. In case of war, I whine. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie, you first. Uh, well, could I ask if You I... will ask no questions and like it. <laughs> hey, yes, sir, Madam Colonel. Hi, Mick. Oh. Here. Mickey, this isn't a Broadway musical. Thank you, Sherlock. <laughs> Woo! Go get her, Dad. a wrestler of course not okay fine look jay go over there and tell them that mickey is withdrawing from the audition <sighs> me <laughs> sure don't worry they don't bite i've seen them on tv they bite <laughs> just go looks like that blonde is in charge go on okay but if i'm not back in five minutes sprinkle my ashes over connie chung Uh, excuse me, uh, Miss, uh... Colonel! Colonel Ninochka! Uh, well, your colonelship, I just, I mean, I, I'm not... You uh, know, for a Yankee pig, you're kind of cute. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good chiropractor. <laughs> Just an audition. Me.
Mick, you gotta remember, this is all fake. It looks pretty real to me. Oh, come off it. I mean, everybody knows that it's staged. I mean, you've seen them on TV. Whenever they punch each other, it's fake. I mean, fake falls, fake hair pulling, fake gouging of eyes, fake blood, <laughs> fake. Go on. I, no, 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 no. I was, I was just saying... David was that, just uh, explaining how none of this is real. In that case, maybe he'd like to try. Well, I, I'd love to try, except that my tights are in the cleaners and I'm having taps put on my wrestling shoes. <laughs> What are you scared of? Don't you dare go in there. I just ironed those pants. <laughs> yeah, Davy. Run to mommy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. That's it. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> David, you don't have to do this. Mick, I'm just trying to show you, the innocent public, that wrestling is all a joke. <laughs> Excuse me, are you ready? As a matter of fact, I... <laughs> uh, that wasn't fair. Oh, he wants to play fair. <laughs> David, this is looking pretty real to me. Nothing that a year or two of psychotherapy can't fix. I, I guess these girls kind of have to know their stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mickey, you were incredible, and you thought you couldn't wrestle. I think we could use both of you in glow. Great moves. Well, wait a minute, Nanach. I, I, I just remembered I forgot to tip the towel man on the way in. <laughs> Jesky, Jesky! You are one slippery herring. <laughs> I'm sorry I put you through all this. Oh, no, thank you. You made me get out there and... and... Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You're gonna make a great wrestler. Oh, maybe. But I just heard Acapulco's taking applications for cliff divers. <laughs> Hasta la vista. Nick, Nick, you did it. They want you. They may want me, but they're not gonna get me. <laughs> then you'd rather be a maid. Get serious, I don't want to be a maid forever. But I learned that I can do anything I want if I just set my mind to it. And you're gonna be real good at whatever you do. You're right. You know, I'm impressed. You could have been a gorgeous lady of wrestling. Yeah. I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Mick. Yeah, I want to defrost the refrigerator, clean some windows, and shovel out Jay's room. Wait a minute. Where is Jay? I know how to keep your samovar warm. But I told you. There's something to be said for detente. 